Hey guys, welcome to Cellulite and Love Tarot, where I, Hillary, connect to my higher self who connects to your higher self and hopefully channels through some of the best, most positive information that you want you to know. Either way, good or bad, everything is working out for us and this will be, you'll find something here to help you smooth out the lumps and bumps of life. Um, and you can connect to yourself better than I can, so if you find me, Thank you for manifesting me. I hope it's a gateway and a stepping stone into you um, connecting with yourself because you can do it better than I can. So, all right, I'm going to be reading for Sagittarius uh, for July 2022. Sagittarius, I'm going to clear for you, clear for me, and clear the space in between and get into a quick little grounding meditation and see if anything comes through for you. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, um, I had a masculine energy approach, um, very suit and tie corporate, and I saw him, like, sitting on, um, like a subway or a train and reading a book, but, like, very from a proper like white silver hair and um, like the message that came through was um, your hands are clean of the situation like um, like you're not at fault okay it's very strange very strange. Um, either they don't blame you or they're telling you not to blame yourself. That was the first time that's ever happened for me where someone approached me. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, we'll see if... Wow. And I got like tingles all over my body so someone's here for you someone that's for someone I don't know if it's a dad or a grandfather or I'm even getting uncle possibly but an older but what's weird is that he looked like in such peace and good health like didn't look sick which I mean yeah if they've crossed over then they might not but he seemed good strong okay let's get into some moonology oracles for you all right spirit my higher self Sagittarius says, higher self, thank you for using me as a channel of the highest white light for Sagittarius. Um, please help give me the words, phrases, emotions, and messages that Sagittarius needs to hear for July 2022. Please keep me safe and protected and Sagittarius safe and protected throughout this reading. And just thank you for the opportunity to connect to your energy and give some guidance. 
Thank you. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what spirit your higher self wants you to be aware of. I just saw 505 on the clock. Um, so maybe May 5th is a thing, Cinco de Mayo. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Spirit, can you give me some moonology cards here for Sagittarius? Some things that they need to be aware of in the forefront of their mind. Thank you. Okay, you got nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer, step out of your comfort zone, north node, time to breathe out, disseminating moon, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra, emotions are running high, super moon, the answers you need are coming, full moon in, Gen in Gemini, and surrender to the divine, full moon. There's a lot of full moons here. There's four full moons. Okay. Sagittarius. What's at the bottom? Curious about that. Communication is key. That's two Gemini cards. Okay. All right. Let me get the energy here. Okay, I feel like there's a lot going on in your life that makes you feel out of control and you may be grasping 717. Um, you may be grasping at anything and everything trying to regain perceived control of the situation going on in your life. Um, if you are grieving the loss of a loved one recently, um, I feel like Okay, I can't believe I'm about to use this analogy, but I'm going to. It's a Dr. Phil analogy, okay? But I'm going to use it. I feel like you have been so overwhelmed with an emotional barrage of difficulty. I feel like grief-stricken. I feel like overall kind of hopeless. And I feel like that shifted your entire energy as it naturally would, okay? Um, and when you are stricken with such intense, overwhelming emotions, I view it as a sunburn. This is like the Dr. Phil thing here, okay? When you are already dealing with so much, any little touch on the surface here, any little additional thing is a searing pain throughout, even if it's not that big of a deal. Like if, if you weren't, if you were in a good, solid emotional state, little things wouldn't really touch you. You would be able to work through them, but because there is such emotional turmoil here within you, it's like any additional little thing is sending you over the edge. It feels like someone touching your sunburn. A normal person patting you on the shoulder any other day would be fine. But when you're sunburned, someone patting you on the shoulder is terrible, okay? And that's where I feel like you're at. I feel like you've got a lot going on emotionally. And I feel like the relationships around you are kind of, you know, like there is a straining to figure out how to find grounding and balance in the chaos. So I feel like you feel like, you know, your friendships, your family relationships, your, you know, 
love relationships, your work relationships, everything is kind of strained right now because you don't have the emotional capacity for anything more than you are already handling. And I don't know if you're trying to avoid processing your grief. If you are, I feel like this is just spirit in your higher self is saying, it's time to process. It's time to process. I don't even know what that looks like, okay? I, I don't know what that looks like other than just sitting in the feelings, feeling them, not pushing them down, identifying them, um, dealing with them, and feeling them disperse through your body, find where it feels, where it feels, where you feel it in your body, okay? Um, not shaming yourself for having feelings, not shaming yourself for anger, not shaming yourself for any, the, the range of emotions that you could be feeling right now. And I just feel like to help yourself work through it, breath work would benefit greatly right now. I feel like you will find answers and find peace, not in the same way, you won't ever be like you were before. Okay, this was a catalyst in your life, and so things will not be the same as they were, obviously. But with taking the time to sit in the discomfort of these emotions, breathing through them, you will be given the answers on how to build a new normal and a new stable 1144 on the clock. And you are being divinely guided. I feel like you're... Whoever's passed, if that's your situation that someone has passed, they are with you. They are with you and they don't want you. They don't want you to blame yourself. They don't want you to blame yourself for their passing. They don't want you to blame yourself for um, the way you feel about it right now, 1221. Anything that you're feeling, even if it's towards this person, they don't want you to feel guilt about it. And they are, they, they are here. They are with you. Okay, let's get into some tarot. Let's see what's going on with you. Okay. Man. Communication is key at the bottom. That's right. Communication is a big deal, and it doesn't mean that you have to fully open up to people around you, but even just communicating, I'm struggling. I don't... I don't know how to work through it. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't necessarily need anything from you right now, but I just need you to know that I'm struggling. I'm struggling. And please be patient with me as I work through this because this is completely uncharted territory for me. That can make a huge difference in all areas of your life. Them if and when you feel comfortable about communicating with them, letting them be the shoulder that you need right now. I feel like you have support spiritually and physically that is ready for you when you are ready, okay? All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, Spirit, my higher self, Sagittarius' higher self, can you give me a couple cards for the general energy around Sagittarius for July 2022, please? Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the moon at the bottom. Okay. I feel like the general energy around you for July 2022 is going to be um, feeling 
an intense drive to connect with the people around you who love you, who, who want to help you work through this difficulty that you're going through, okay? These feelings that you're hiding within, okay? I feel like you are going to feel that all around you. And if you are I feel like this is specifically for someone in a connection, um, possibly a marriage, you know, um, but it's evolving that relationship. Okay. This relationship is obviously changing because you're going to experience a different side of intimacy that you have not experienced before because of how vulnerable you're going to have to be working with this person and opening up emotionally to them. your community, you have family around you, everyone is here for you, okay? So don't, like, if you, I just feel like you're going to be struggling to let this in because it might be hard to open up that way. That might not be the most easy thing for you. I kind of get the feeling that you're more of a, um, like a laid back kind of, filled the silence with laughter person, okay? And so feelings like this, you don't know how to process that. And you don't, like, that is just, it's something that you are trying to avoid processing, but you're gonna feel around you, like this is all around you, this supportive energy, this loving energy, this, coming together, helping you to find some footing, you know, get grounded in your life is going to be there for you. It's, it's available to you and it is for your betterment. Okay. Let's see what happened in the recent past. Let's see what happened in the recent past. Spirit, my higher self, can you tell me what happened in the recent past? Okay, I got the Five of Wands, the Star, the Six of Cups, the Emperor, the Magician, and the Hanged Man in reverse. I feel like strongly in the recent past, yeah, something difficult in the, like that is putting it lightly, happened. Something happened. within you, okay? I feel like you're having this internal battle. Something that made you feel like, like you're just fighting this feeling of, like you feel like there's no hope, like that's the battle going on. Because things are not gonna be like they used to be. Six of Cups, Nostalgia. The stars, Hope and Healing, Aquarius, Energy. With that, I feel like you you kind of have gone very, I 
don't know why I'm feeling detachment from this emperor. I'm feeling detachment, almost like disassociation. I feel like, you know, this is a place of power, but I feel like you are trying to control your emotions so bad. You're trying to control your emotions so much that you are just kind of like dissociating. You're being lost and getting lost in memories and just the nostalgia of the before times. And I feel like you feel like this is how it's going to be forever. I feel like you don't find, you don't see any hope in it changing. I feel like you're like, I don't know how I could ever get past this. With the magician and the hangman in reverse. I feel like that something happened that just really shook you that it's like, you're like, it's never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. This is a lot of cards for past energy. Usually I only take three and you got six. You got so many moonology cards, like the big, a lot is happening. A lot happened. But I do feel you closed off to hope. I feel you closed off to healing. I feel you closed off to a new normal. I feel you sitting in this place of I don't know how to almost accepting defeat. Okay, I want to see. We'll see if my son goes back down. I might have to stop this reading and uh, get him up, but he should be sleeping right now. Let's see where your current energy is at. What's going on currently? I feel like you're just going what like one step at a time, like baby steps, trying to find a new normal. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Sun. I feel like you are just in the place of taking it day by day, second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, and trying to figure out how to move through these emotions, how to process them, how to, how to come to acceptance. You're like... Instead of feeling entirely hopeless, you're just like, now it's more wondering. Instead of like, I'm never going to feel happy again, like, I, like it's going to be like this forever. You're just like, still not totally positive. Not a positive energy, but like, can I ever be happy again? Instead of it just being like, I'll never be happy again. It's more questioning, like, can I? And that is a step in the right direction. It's not completely positive, but instead of like naming it doom and gloom, you're at least questioning and that's opening up the option to healing. I just noticed that the sun's directly under the six of cups here. So I feel like, I feel like you might be finding the comfort in your memories instead of it being like a devastating thing. I think your past is, you are reliving your past and keeping that alive in that sense. And you are feeling those happy moments from the nostalgia. I feel like that's what's going on now. You're trying to figure out, look at that nine of cups at the bottom, just like, is there a way for me to find happiness 
on my own without what without what was here before without what my foundation was built on basically I feel like you're very aware of the need to process your grief okay let's see what's coming in how is the energy going to change what's coming into Sagittarius for July 2022 that we are not aware of something that Sagittarius needs to know judgment You got Judgment, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to find your inner strength, okay? I feel like you're going to find inner foundation, inner processing, and that you're going to make the choice to... Work through your grief, work through your anxiety, Eight of Pentacles, after the Nine of Swords. I just feel like, oh, and there's the Eight of Wands at the bottom. That's two eights. 88 might be an important number. Oh, we've got three eights. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. I honestly kind of feel like this is communication spiritually here. I feel like I feel like you're going to get some sort of clarity and closure as much as possible, enough to set you on the path of saying I can rebuild a new normal. And I see you making the choice to process, to work through it, to put in the hard work and hard work being emphasized here. It's a challenge. It is a lot of time and dedication. It is getting your hands dirty. It is, oh, that's funny. Getting your hands dirty. And the message I heard at the beginning was that your hands are clean. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. This might be your wake-up call, maybe? I just feel like you're going to feel divinely guided to start working on this. Maybe this is the catalyst for you, because it's already July. Um, if so... It's your divine guidance, okay? If this is not it, then something else is coming in that will put you on the path of choosing to work through this and release your fears and anxiety and find your inner peace again. I'm just very, this is sticking out to me like the angel in the cloud and people like exalting the angel in the cloud the divine in the cloud. A rebirth. Rebirth, resurrection, something. I feel like you are going to be I guess metamorph like a metamorph metamorphosis, like coming out of your cocoon different and changed than before. And you're in a, right now your cocoon is filled with a bunch of, you know, caterpillar goo, because that's how that works. Your caterpillar goes into the cocoon and breaks down into goo and then comes out magnificent and you feel like caterpillar goo right now. Okay. Get my true black on this. Okay, 
Spirit, higher self, can you tell me? Can you tell me what exactly is coming in? What is this awakening epiphany? Something that is helping Sagittarius to decide new clarity. Ace of Swords. me what exactly this is. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay. exactly is this awakening situation? Wow, the emperor again. Is it your dad? Did your dad pass? really getting that I feel like you're going to have an encounter. Something, maybe not directly, but some sort of confirmation, some sort of spiritual confirmation that helps you start taking the steps that you need to take. You're going to be given truth, like you're going to understand truth. Again, Aries here. Four of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Knight of Swords. The thing about this Four of Pentacles is that there are butterflies caught in the web here. So you feel stuck. It's not even just letting go. It's that you feel trapped. You feel trapped. You feel stuck. You feel like, okay, so I'm coming out of this cocoon. I'm The metamorphosis is happening. But I feel like I didn't have control over that. I came out just to get stuck in a web. Like, it's not, like... And I just feel like you're going to let go of that. I feel like you're going to let go of that stuck feeling. That trapped feeling. I think you're going to let go of the... I just keep hearing like emotional hoarding. Four swords at the bottom. Metamorphosis just keeps sticking out to me. Was I supposed to see all those? Just make a note of it. Oh my gosh, five of wands, hangman, hermit, two of swords, temperance. They wanted me to see that, not put them down though. But yeah, this this conflict that you're dealing with inside. Oh my gosh, look at this hanged man. What's at his feet? What's emerging from his feet? Butterflies. White butterflies. The purity of white butterflies and blue butterflies. I feel like going within, spending time within, is going to help you make the choice to process. I think that's just what is keeping the repetitive theme here. Okay. Ten of Swords to work through this painful ending. The mental torment of the situation. Not all hope is lost. Okay, there's a lot of grief to process. 
there's a lot of, you know, birds that did not make it through this situation, but there's still one and you are still here. And you're here for a reason. And the fact that like the glowing around the bird's chest here, do you see how that's glowing there? Heart chakra work. Your inner light being ignited. Hope not being lost. Oh my gosh, and the Nine of Swords again. I just see you gaining clarity to help you move through this, to get out of your mind and process your emotions. Process your emotions. King of Cups at the bottom. Finding emotional balance. Embodying emotional balance. Okay, let's get some advice cards here for you. The, I can't fucking make this shit up. Judgment in the Emperor. I'm seeing the Emperor in all three of my decks. Okay. My spirit, my higher self, Sagittarius, is higher self. Can you please give me some advice cards here for Sagittarius this month? and landed on the floor. Wow, okay. What's that supposed to be? Okay. All right, your advice here, page of cup, page of cups, king of cups, the high priestess, the tower in reversed, the two of swords and the hangman in reverse. I just feel like spirit is telling you to take it step by step, opening up gradually, okay? The more you open up, even little by little, okay? It's going to help you to start balancing out emotionally. It's going to help you mentally to get back in touch with your higher self, your intuition. And I just feel like you might, I just, someone specific, this is a specific message for someone Someone is going to have psychic gifts awakening because of this situation. I really strongly feel that. Just feel an encounter of something. So, open up so that you can stop resisting the change here. It's going to help you to stop resisting the change and make a choice to view things in a new perspective. I feel like this, not the loss is a gift, but you are being gifted something. You're being gifted something. Psychically, I feel like psychic gifts. Because of the opening and breaking within you that you are then going to rebuild. That's what I feel is happening here. Okay, let's get you some brutal honesty oracles here. Again, with that King of Cups, I just am feeling father energy. I'm just feeling father energy. You are strong enough to, to get through this. You are strong enough to get through this. Okay. All right. Spirit, can you please give me some brutal honesty? Oracles here.
Okay. Okay. Incorrect assumptions are being made. There's a deficit of some kind. This isn't meant for you. Forgiveness is needed here. Karma is in effect in this situation. I feel like you're being told. I feel like whoever has passed, this is their message to you. Like, this suffering is not meant for you. Okay? You are assuming that you didn't do enough. You are assuming that you didn't do enough and that your suffering is karma for not doing enough. You are blaming yourself for the situation. And they are saying to forgive yourself because it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I'm a little confused on these messages over here, but they came out. Side note. You might have a coworker that's up to no good, um, possibly. Stay away, avoid action is needed here. I feel like there might be someone around you who doesn't have your best interest. I just got a specific message about that, actually. Um, I feel like if, if you're having a hard time at work because of your grief and what you're going through. Um, there's a very negative coworker that is basically planting seeds that you're not doing enough. Okay. That you're failing at your job that like, I, I just feel like someone is doesn't have good intentions someone doesn't have good intentions in the workplace possibly and you need to stay away and avoid whatever avoid them if possible avoid their criticism don't listen to them but also be cautious of them because I feel like they are stirring up more trouble and you don't need that at the bottom of that deck is just let it go so forgiveness is needed here so that you can let go of the guilt that you have. I just saw 43, 34 on the clock. Self-reflection, mirror work, mirror gazing, having some self-compassion, okay? Not dooming yourself to a remainder of a lifetime in misery, okay? Okay, let's see. I, I feel like that was all those messages there. Let's get you some healing with the angels cards. I'm going to skip the spiritual AF af uh, affirmations there. I don't feel drawn to use those right now, so I'm just going to end it after these healing with the angels cards. Um, yeah, okay. Spirit, my higher self, Sagittarius, this higher self, can I please have some healing? with the angels cards here. Someone is being gifted psychic powers of some sort. Enchantment emerging in signs. I feel like those three are saying like you're having an awakening of some spiritual gifts. You are. Don't think you're crazy. It's happening. And you have a guardian angel. This person who passed, they're, they are with you. And they are helping. They're helping you. Okay? Be aware of what's going on around you. Because someone is with you. I just noticed in this card. This woman. 
is sobbing. And there's her guardian angel with her. You are not alone. Miracles. You can work through this. You can work through that and you are being gifted spiritual gifts. Okay. They want you to spend time in nature. They want you to spend time in nature. I'm getting that perhaps if there's a grave, go visit. Um, and then friendship and self-acceptance. So I feel like be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself the way that you would be with a friend. Don't speak to yourself. If, if you wouldn't speak to your friend the way that you're speaking to yourself, don't speak to yourself that way. Okay, 46, 46 on the clock at the bottom, music. So some of you may be musicians or um, you can really use music to help you heal and process through this. Be mindful of the music that you're listening to. Um, oh, I just heard a message that said, sing more, <laughs> sing more. Okay. All right. Sagittarius. I'm so sorry for whatever, whoever you lost for the fact that you're going through all this. You are emerging. You will emerge out of this caterpillar goo cocoon you will and you're not alone you have so much support and love around you okay you don't have to deal with it all on your own you don't have to deal with it on your own and let yourself deal with it let yourself deal with it okay all right Sagittarius I have you in my thoughts and I'm sending you so much healing and love vibrations your way and just know that I love you and I know that you can work through this in whatever way you need to, okay? All right, bye. Here are your affirmations. I choose to love myself in my sadness. I can make it through this too. I find comfort in the memories of my loved ones. I am surrounded by support. I am patient with myself in my healing process. Each day I am discovering new strengths within me.